Side in here, oh, this is a fun car. This thing's uh, nearly a thousand horsepower here. And uh, Kuba. Brzgonski. Yep. You've got to good, say it with, looking car. You've got to say it with vodka in your mouth. <laughs> Kuba Brzgonski. <laughs> Listen, this guy is super experienced. I mean, he's yes. raced everything. He was saying in that interview from two wheel drive, uh, I mean, actually from bikes, two wheels, into um, doing things like Dakar, oh, uh, and drifting, and, uh, and now Jim Connor. Yeah. So this is my dark horse. Yeah. This is a dark horse right here. Um, why do you say that? Great guy, great car, great capability. Uh, hell of a talent. Not a lot of power in it. Doesn't no. need it, does it? It's seen 200 horsepower. Yeah, so when it rained, I was like, ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. But yeah. now it's, That's the equalizer. Yeah, it's now it's now it's uh, dried out. E, you know, it's going to be the same thing again. You're going to see the GT86 launch off the line. Um, no, yeah, it, it takes development. We, you know, I knew this. But I had, I didn't have a choice. Yeah. It was do, it was do or die. So we made it happen, which I'm really proud of. I, I really did work so hard. Me and my best mate and my girlfriend, we worked so hard. I even had my sister to go down and take my helmet from to the painters, and you know, it, we had loads of stuff going. So, but yeah, it's development. It's with any sport, it's development. And um, Banks developed his car last year. He he had a rough start, you know, a rough season. To begin with, it's all starting to come right for him now, and it's it's good to see. Um, his car is it is a great example, and it is an ideal car for this, and that's what I am building. Yeah. So, yeah. So here we go, Cuba, Cuba there on the left, Mantis there on the right. It's actually closer than I thought in this first stage. Yeah. You know, I, I thought now, the horsepower section. The MX-5 now technically will pull probably a car, two car lamps in, uh, in the tight bits because it's just grips and goes. Yeah. But he's driving. Yeah, he is. Uh, just a reminder, you guys watching on the stream, uh, we are trying to work on graphics, so a lot of the things you see popping up on screen doesn't necessarily mean that's right. Ooh, nice so we'll try and give you the, uh, the correct info as we go along. But this is a good battle. Have a look at this. this is a technical section. This is close. Neck and neck are both the cars, like we said, the Dave vs. Goliath. You can see Kuba there really lighting them up. So it's showing you that you were talking about yeah, that loop, you know, basically losing that grip. So when you're spinning the tires, you're yeah. not gripping it up. So Kuba with that styly attitude, but is that going to work out? Firing off, man, just look at that. Sound it sounds like, cool. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds very cool. cool. We're but, going uh, to war. You know what sounds cooler is a uh, champagne opening and getting some medals. So, yeah. so. So technically MX5 is turning really fast now. Yeah. Yeah. On the exit, if he gets it squared off now, oh, gets a power down. Boom, look at that. Oh, little over hook the up line. There. Oh, man. But a one second penalty. We don't know there. yet, Jared. They said the graphics can be wrong. So just have a look if that does come up with a penalty. We are seeing it showing as one second, yep. so it looks like graphics are on point. So a 136.48 versus a 137.67. So just over a second difference there. But Mantis, I think, could make that up because now, again, you were saying the left side a little bit tighter. So Mantis could have an advantage here on the second side. But that looks confusing to me because Mantis was quicker. Right. Uh, you take that second, there's a 1.19 second difference. So you take the second penalty off. That ain't right. Because Mantis right. crossed the line first. I'm no good at yeah. maths. So I like watching the race. <laughs> So technically now, Mantis has scr scrubbed his tyres in on the right-hand side, which for me was the slower side. Yep. Prefers the left. Now he's going to the left-hand side, which technically we feel is faster. Yeah. So technically, he should win by at least two car lengths. Well, there we go. Let's see. <laughs> you know, what, uh, theory. Uh, Oliver Solberg said to me this morning, he wants to go onto his bad side with yes. the good tyres. Yeah. And when the tyres are off, be on his good side. Yeah. I mean, they're starting to think things like this, which they never did at any other grid before. Right. But uh, Ken and his team have made a monster circuit here that's really messing with you in terms of do you go with horsepower? How do you gear the car? Now, some guys wanted to you know, run without changing gears. Yeah. Never going to happen. Yeah, yeah. strategy. Oh, strategy, man. and I know you're talking about different tyres. I know in Greece, Petter went through multiple different manufacturers to find the perfect scenario. Yeah. And, uh, do you know who hooked him up? Yeah. Hey, this guy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was it was pretty interesting how that all unfolded. But uh, here's Mantis in that uh, Mazda MX-5. Kuba, your local Polish driver, about to throw down here again. Lithuania being represented. Again, I hope qualifying I, seven, the qualifying tenth. What's that? I hope his insurance company doesn't look at his number plate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, he drove this thing here, and is he uh, he's driving it home or what? Maybe. It's a little but that is, it's a proper, literally, he's, he's happened to be driving down the road, saw mm -hmm. a couple of cars and people pulling in, just came and said, oh, she's going to try and go this. Trying to find the shopping center. <laughs> oh, wow, man. But that is what I love. I mean, because uh, that car just looks pretty stock that standard. Guy, he, daily competes, daily. he competes in the UK, the Jim Carter Series in the UK, uh, from the G, and he is a force of All right, here we go.
here we go back at it and obviously Cuba with that high horsepower Toyota 86 throws it down he said very a credit drive oh makes a mistake, mistake there yeah. almost running into that barrel has to massage it around that final barrel into the ballers goes Cuba you can see him slowing down scrubbing out of that baller the turn is on that Mazda amazing so you can see look at that man is actually a little faster now Sorry. neck and neck and unofficially there is a time difference but i think it was adjusted taking a look over here okay, we'll, we'll find out when the when we get the entirety of both runs boom punts the pinata ball nice job that's really odd to come out of one rotation one way to have to flick it into you're not going round anything because you haven't really got a, a visual point of what you're aiming for so you kind of flick it and look over your shoulder at what you're hitting and then hope for the best he's ahead now That's, yeah this is going to be a turn up i think mantis really just rocketing out and, and like we were talking about that left side seemed yeah. to be a little faster mistake. give it and go and look at that kuba with the mistake in one of those bumper car washing machines as he exits out so what did I say? Two car let me do it. You did it. I think so you, get it. You, you should take some money on this. Oh, look at this. Mantis could take down the local Polish talent of Kuba Bugznowski. Boom. Wow. Oh, wow. That was a lot of time there. One, two. But I think it looked like Kuba was also yeah, watching what was happening and started to get himself a bit stressed he, out. He didn't look too comfortable. Yeah, look, we're yeah, we'll, getting ourselves. We'll, we'll, we'll take we'll take a look. We're getting ourselves very confused from a timing perspective. We'll try and get you the right info now. Crowd looks like they had a good one. Maybe they're sulking because they think uh, Poland's gone home and Lithuania has gone through. But um, that for me was great. The David versus Goliath. We'll have a look at the replay. Uh, massive horsepower versus. Uh, look at that. Was that mistake that we saw earlier? Yeah, it's a beautifully uh, presented car. It is. It's amazing to see how he's driving the car, how tame he has to drive the car, yeah. just trying to keep the wheel speed and the wheel spin down. But that is a challenge. I mean, here comes a drift car, yeah. and, and it's not really designed for this. So no. You've got to change the setup big time, too, yeah. you know? So we're still trying to get you. Uh... Oh, the All right, so here on. it is. Here, oh. here's, your, here's your cousin. Here's yeah, your cousin. it is. It you is. Got a, you got a back <laughs> in the back room. <laughs> And he's, flying your the flag. and he's, he's flying, flying the your RX flag. cartel flag. I, I, is it? No, it's actually Oli Solver because they have the same uh, uh, sponsors here. Hate to be there oh, over at the it, grandstand. Okay, right. we're not sure this <laughs> is. I know how important this is for. Who got the victory? Him, him and Kuba. The uh, clocks were a little wonky there, but they got him dialed in. They found out that Mantis in this 200 horsepower MX-5 going against Christian Bakarut in this 785 horsepower Nissan Sephira. Did you say 200 horsepower? Yeah. yeah. You can literally show up here with anything like yeah. that. Yeah. But that car is so good. Too. Too. Yeah, it looks good. It's so oh, Christian nice. set up for good. Christian That's shedding cool some thing. weight here. Yeah. That's good. Shred that back bumper. That's good. As they say, yeah. he, he's a painter and uh, he, he's good with the body works of course. So, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> but uh, for, for sure, Christian's coming to this with a bit of confidence because he actually eliminated the second fastest qualifier going this round. Oh, three power second trailer. penalty for Christian. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Christian, he's, that's he's, three. He's got three second penalty. I don't know if it's a good thing you're up here. You're really, you're really uh, cursing. Him. No, I don't send it over to me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he has to talk for himself here. <laughs> Come on. So look at this three second penalty. Mantis. And we were just saying, I mean, he came in with confidence off that earlier run, yep. knocking out the second fastest qualifier. But Mantis, this car for me is so cool. It looks like his daily driver. He just yeah. arrives, no gloves. Yeah, and off he goes. Yeah, he's so good. He probably drove the car to the event. Though. For sure. I don't know. For sure. <laughs> But that's an interesting thing, like David versus Goliath, horsepower versus no horsepower. It's like, oh, come on! Oh, look at Christian not getting that thing able to rotate. It's so long he is car. parallel parking that big limo of that Nissan Sapphire, and Mantis finishes before him as well as three second penalty. That's three and a half seconds that Christian needs to make up on the second battle, and Mantis is keeping it clinical, keeping it super tight. But you know what? That actually means nothing because we've seen guys with an advantage like right. that and then getting the course wrong oh. where they DNF earlier, you know. So You're trying to calm it down. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to restore balance. Restore Come on, balance. Christian, you can still do this. Well we but just, that's what I love, such unique yeah. cars. I mean, have a look at that. That's a 
As a commentator, do you actually allow to have like favorites and stuff? No, no, I'm completely impartial. <laughs> I'm not a commentator. <laughs> I'm going to root for my cousin here. <laughs> Come on, Christian, you got this, son. <laughs> That's your kid. <laughs> uh, they, they say this in England, son. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and I've been hanging you, out with Liam. Yeah, a bunch, you, yeah, right. He says son to me. Don't, Pat don't, don't, says son. To don't me. do anything that Liam does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> right. Okay, oh, starters orders. So, Mantis really has pressure off three and a half second gap he's got, but as we've seen, things can go wrong. Christian, with it all to do, and on the right side of the circuit, under starters orders, let's have a look. And Christian's got him nailed off the line here. He's got plenty more horsepower. Red light. There we go. All right, the light illuminator, excuse me, extinguishes. So Christian back, it looks like he's got way more grip on that second run, and that's where he needs to flex some muscle. He's got to make it up here because his first part of the circuit is more horsepower. Yeah. The second part's a bit more technical. The car's not rotating as good as it as it did earlier in the day. Yeah, but you know what I'm loving about this? Compared to Christian in South Africa last year, he was smoking style. He yeah. was drifting it. He's actually now learnt that he's he, got to he get the rotation. He changed his differential from yeah. last year. Last year he uh, had a well of diff, and the same as me this year, it's it's just sliding, sliding, sliding. And in Gymkhana, you need to slide and go and forward. And have grip, you know? Yeah. And have grip, yeah. So that's the big change he have done. Uh, obviously, you can see that car behavior is very different. Yeah. All right, so Christian brings it around. This is going to be a tight one, but uh, again, we have uh, a lot of time. He's not going fast enough. Come on, Christian. He's <laughs> <laughs> not good. Your name is backward. Come on. <laughs> oh, man, look at this. Just uh, oh, sure. all the guys in back again. <laughs> they go slower. <laughs> see? Announcer's uh. curse. Now you're an announcer. But, yo, hats off to him. But uh, I'll tell you what, Mantis is just putting it down right now. And um, Luke, when he was here, picked him as his dark horse. That's he right. said Mantis does Jim Carney in the UK oh, yeah? and the man is on fire and he, he's really showing off. He's doing a great job. Yeah, Formula G he competes in as a... Now look at Mantis, brings it in, wraps it around, and it looks like that's going to be all she wrote for back room. Not only on track, but up here in the booth as well. Yeah. Man. Unfortunately, I'm out. We out. Wow. Yeah, Beckard, one, two, bye bye. <laughs> Listen, uh -huh. Grace, cool, man. Nice to have you in, uh, uh, in commentary nice. with us. Very, nice very cool. Here. Thank you, guys. Good to see you again. Okay, Thank guys. you so much. All right, so uh, Andreas, as a. Uh, Thank just, you, sir. Uh, there we go. Selfie. Just a quick recap on our results. So, looking at uh, at our rear wheel drive category, uh, Paul Koprylinski from Poland knocking out uh, Bagsy in that first race, uh, and then Christos beat Dmitry Iliak in the second race. So that's our semi-final one, and uh, we just had Mantis that's uh, that's obviously knocked out Christian Bakarud, um, and we'll pick up. All Right, this is yeah. one I'm really looking forward to. A little 200 horsepower Mazda MX-5, driven by Manto Slageris, has been a slayer. This guy's a Jim Connor specialist, done a really great job. And then, of course, the master of everything, Daigo Saito, who won rear-wheel drive in South Africa, Jim Connor Grid 9, with his Corvette, now in an all-new Supra that's kind of old school too from an ancient perspective <laughs> but this guy is a master we suspected that he was playing silly buggers with uh, silly, with, with, silly, silly buggers. buggers maybe with the, with booze turned down uh. um, because the car is sounding ferocious and he certainly does seem on it again this David versus Goliath but David might have a pebble in his back pocket knock down this Goliath that is Daigo Saito again and a Formula Drift champion, your defending rear-wheel drive champion in a brand new car. And yeah, look at that. The light, that perspective there, the light's blinding you almost. So that's an element you really think of, not, not just the vision, but actually how bright it actually is. Yeah, you, you, you try to obviously spot your next one. Oh, He's missed it. Daigo missed the ball. He says what he said. It's very, very difficult to now pick those spots. Those markers have all changed. You've now got stadium lights in your eyes. You're right. This is very interesting because it's a second in it. I love Jim Oh, Carter. man. It is so unique as a motorsport uh, as a motorsport event. It's brilliant. Mantis Legeris around the pool, and there he goes whipping it. A, a very talented Jim Connor driver gets that pinata ball. You can see Daigo just a little bit ahead, but that might just be enough to offset that penalty as long as Mantis keeps it clean. I mean, it's interesting to think, you know, maybe, maybe horsepower isn't key, but at the end of the day, with these transitions, you do need a bit of that, uh, and it does make a massive difference. And we know Daigo doesn't uh, 
doesn't break a sweat, does he? No. So that little mishap won't ruin his rhythm. He's actually come back stronger. Oh, really dialed in on the bump. But look at the Mantis even tighter. Look how quickly strains out, boom, beeline to the next spot. That is a, an example of that, you know, down the horsepower. He can really manipulate it, but let's see, you can see him just kind of parallel parking it next to the 720, the Ken Block obstacle. And now, so one, two, where are we at? 1.65, compensate. 0.61 advantage, Daigo Saito has over Mantis. So let's have a look at where it's went wrong for Daigo. You can see he actually tried to make a little correction there, and he just misses that ball. Such an easy thing to do. He's probably got stadium lights straight oh, in his eyes, trying, trying, to, trying to nail it. They've now swapped onto the mirror side. We mentioned earlier, everyone's favorite seems to be the left side. So Daigo is now onto the right side. He's got that slight advantage. You just got to keep it tidy and he's through to the final. And, and you got to think, with only 0.61, that is less than a second. So with just one mistake, Hit an obstacle, knocking over, or not hit an obstacle, that could really send you to that consolation round. So, Powell already into the finals. Who's he going to be going against? Is it Daigo Sides, the defending champ, or the newcomer, Mantis Lajaris from Lithuania? Daigo oh, Sides, so look at this. crazy does Daigo's car side as a bird's pass like on the position. Unbelievable, man. He's done a great job. Turn that car around, develop a new car like that, and arrive here, oh, sure. and just be able to nail it. That super looks so, so good. Seems to be like everyone's favorite car. And, and, and drifting setup as compared to Jim Connor grid, very different. You're gonna say, oh, looks like he did get the ball. Don't know if Mantis hit. I did see Daigo swinging in the wind, but drifting setup very loose. You want to get that back end around. Here, you really want that slip and grip. And, and also, that apply. Oh, there it is, Mantis. I heard the crowd erupt, and unfortunately, Mantis does not get that ball. I think that was where the penalty was. We'll go back and look at that ad. Oh, and really make sure he gets deep into that pinata stand. But it's a good point because a lot of the guys we've seen, especially being in Poland this year, is a strong culture with drifting. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the qualifiers were from the region. Drifters, massive horsepower. They come out their first jump on grid and go, oh my word, okay, I'm going to change my car and change my mindset. So that's also where the experience comes in. If you know uh, the grid setup, you're getting your car dialed in to have grip, not to uh, light up the rear. Look at that, Daigo, just so you can see him. I love look, that shot. Look at the flick of the wrist. I love that shot. Uh, yeah, Daigo just ripping it in here. Mantis needs to, he needs to just go towards the finish line if he even wants to beat him, but that would obviously set him back another penalty. He's come back, look at this. There, oh, Daigo's Daigo. Daigo. Oh, oh, my God. goodness. Daigo Saito makes a mistake. That's a whole Mantis, bunch of penalties. That is penalties, my friend. What happened to Daigo Saito? Mantis. Man, oh my word. You know, we, we've called this. There have been massive shocks in the seeding runs. We've had a big couple of disappointments in uh, in the top 16, and we possibly have just seen the biggest. We've got winner, rear wheel drive, Daigo Sato. So Daigo wins, know. but the... Okay, so we let's let's take a look. Oh boy! But I don't want to call it because no. he knocked over about five. I mean, it's a, it's a second penalty per obstacle, isn't it? Wow! I mean, the, this is where Mantis. Is that's where he got he got his. Which Daigo did in the which earlier. Which Daigo did earlier, but the the big thing here is yes. Look at it. I believe there we are penalties do have an coming. Upset. There are penalties coming. And what do we say? This is what makes Jim Connor grit so amazing. He's got it dialed in. Look at that. And oh my, oh my goodness! Word. No, look at. Marius, there we go. Goldie. And uh, we are going back to our rear wheel drive finals. The giant killer, David versus Goliath. He's been taking down Goliath throughout the day. This 200 horsepower Mazda MX-5, Mantis Slegeris from Lithuania. He's going against Paul Kurpalinski, who is from here in Poland, the highest finishing Polish driver. And of course, Warsaw is cheering for him. This dude has 200 horsepower again, and he's been killing it in this well, MX-5. Well, that, that's the thing about Jim coming here. Exactly. It's, it's not a about horsepower, it's about getting the traction on the ground. It's about delivering it. Yeah, man. I mean, the Hunicorn was, I think, my <laughs> slowest vehicle I've ever brought here, because it just spins the tires right. the entire time. I can't get grip. Okay, but, listen, it's been amazing what you've put on. Jim Connor, Grid 10, thanks for joining us in studio as well, uh, as we watch the final rear wheel drive. Predictions quickly. Ooh, I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> go for the Polish guy. Here yeah, we yeah. go, Paul Kurpalinski, Mantis Legeris, Lithuania versus Poland here in Warsaw, the rear wheel drive finals. Powell makes a quick little correction into that sweepy transition in the BMW. Remember, he took down that number one qualifier, Bagsy. Crazy things have unfolded, but look at Mantis keeping it tight around the ballers. But this is what I love the first part of the section.
that seems to favour the horsepower. But we find part two of the track is where uh, where the Celemex 5 comes back really strong. So let's see how close we are when we get to the top end of the track. Hard spot that you can miss your braking marker very easy and put it in the concrete barrier. We've seen it happen twice now. So this is very, very close. And nothing in it. Two horsepower MX5, come on. But like you said, and that's where Rico Taco really shined, getting it really tight around those final obstacles, including the three dishwasher, the spin cycle. Yes, the pinata. Look at that. Here's in the pinata, and he hangs it, no problem. Again, Ken, that's where you broke it. You broke it off. But uh, Mantis through the container. Looks like Powell has a little bit of an advantage here. Good, man. This but is watch, a good race. Yeah, this is going to be really coming down to tents. And I, tents love, of tents. I love this grid sign because it's not a circle. You can't just walk it in and, and dial around it. You've actually got to straighten and turn. It's, it's a very tricky layout. Look at the attitude of Mantis. You see him really keep the car very level, not really disrupting it, coming out really hot out of those, the, again, the, the spin cycles. Forget the attitude. He's got no clubs. Right. This guy's yeah. been on a, on a Saturday evening drive and happened to drive into this Watch track. Mantis. Here he is, He's really tight. It. He's gaining some ground. Look at this Mantis at around the 720 He's Ken Block it. vehicle. And Mantis it. gains it, oh. and he gets it. That is where he shines. Ken, you can sit around and watch, but we're going to talk to uh, Bartek uh, about his experience. Thank you so much, homeboy. No, you don't want to thank me? No, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> no, it's okay. Very, I very give you cool. fist bump, so but I'm nobody, saying, nobody can hear that. Uh, it's okay. I'm messing with you. Having a look at the results, super, super close at the moment. Uh, point one of a second differentiating the two there. So this is not game over. Uh, this is going to be such an interesting run because literally there's nothing. Point one of a second between them. Uh, one little mistake. Uh, Powell has gone on to, like we said, in everyone's head, the right side's a bit slower. Uh, very... Very cool. So uh, we've got joining us in studio, Bartos. Uh, man, Bartos, you, you've become my new legend, but what you oh. do in a car, unbelievable. You know, this is completely crazy event for me. I love this. I, 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 I'm, I'm in love in Gymkhana, and this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you had Ken Block in the car with you. you yeah. Andreas Bakarud yesterday. I mean, yeah. these are guys that you that you hero worship. Also in Paddock, uh, Peter Solberg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I, I love this also, but because, you know, first I, I was a little bit uh, unlucky because my axle was broken in qualification, but uh, this doesn't matter because this is an awesome weekend I, I enjoy. All right, sit here. Let's watch the finals. Who's going to come out on top? We can see there is a 0 0.132 difference between Powell and Mantis. So who is going to come out on top? Again, Lithuania or Poland. Are you cheering for your own Polish guy there? Yeah, of course. Pazer, uh, Pavel could be precision, so we will see. But you know what I love about this? This is where that mental side of Jim Connor grid comes in. Did you know you need to make up that little one, that point 0.1 of a second on the side you don't prefer? Very easy to overcook it and try it too hard and make a mistake. And look, I mean, Mantis has a slight lead going into uh, the top section so we know how strong this mx5 is but he made a little mistake there yeah. quick little correction and that's uh, given powell a nice little advantage nothing in it point one a mistake now is going to cost someone the title look poland could win in his home country pavel here korpolinski and uh, it, it, i mean oh look at that hitting the balls that's a very difficult again we keep talking about that pinata ball that's probably one of the hardest yeah that's true and you have to save your speed on the speed he's come back he's come back that's close, man. Mantis. Oh, look at that. Look, it looks like Pavel scrubs some speed there around that billboard. See how quickly Mantis gets out? This is where he gains the ground. Just a reminder, point one, and you write. Uh, yeah. The final rotation, that MX-5 is so dialed in. Look, it just turns on a ticky right there around the drift car. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Look at him turn in. Again, no gloves. They are so close. So close. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. God. Oh, Mantis, wow. he could get. Oh, oh my God. Pavel with a mistake. Mantis oh, keeps no. it tight. Is Mantis going to come out on top? Point one, three, two. Oh, it's yeah. coming down. It looks like Mantis Man, could have great. it. <laughs> and it is Mantis Legeris from Lithuania oh. comes out on top. The giant slayer took it all the way to the top. Marius, you, you look know, at this. You know look what's going to happen right now? Luke Woodham has walked into a casino and put money down. When he had him oh, on uh, right. live stream, he said, watch this guy. He's my dark horse. He does uh, grid racing in the, in the UK, and he clearly is a master. He comes here with no horsepower, and I think that is what the fans love, is that it's not about how much he lights up the rear wheels, how quick you are around the trickiest Jim Connor grid course yet. Mantis Legeris from Lithuania is your rear wheel drive championship. Conor Grid 2019, amazing, oh, amazing. This, yeah, this small Mazda is a hero right yeah, now. Yeah. Incredible, eh? Uh, how's this event been, uh, Bartos, for, for, for Poland, for, for motor racing here, yeah, to have Jim Conor Grid in your country? 
not not really like Gymkhana. We have a little bit similar uh, like on, on the ferry, but but not Gymkhana. But this is really really big uh, event, and you know uh, people in Poland, I think, are also in love in Gymkhana. Yeah. Awesome. Let's take a look at the replay here, and there we go. You see Mantis get some nuts from our own crew, and and that just goes to show you it's tens of tents hitting the obstacles, not hitting the obstacles, oh, and keeping it tight. As Ken said, it's not about horsepower, but it's just unbelievable. So we have our winner, Mantis Legeris. Colby, I throw it down to you, homeboy. All right, you pulled it off, made the win. How's it feel? Unbelievable. I didn't expect anything like this. So the track is really great. And thanks, Monster, for the opportunity to be here. It's brilliant. Thank you so much. Awesome. Great. Well, we'll see you on the podium. Congratulations.